Hello, welcome to the Map Suite Code Community video series. Today we're going to be looking at our newest code community sample, which deals with the ArcGIS server REST overlay. This is a new overlay that's brand new to Map Suite 5.0 Web Edition. Eventually we plan to roll this out to the other products, but for now uh, we're doing the sample in the Web Edition. I'll go ahead and run this sample. We'll look at uh, the functionality that it provides, and then we'll, we'll dive into the code after that. So here you can see we have a background map which uses our world map kit. That's just a, a quick and dirty couple lines of code to give us a base map. And on top of that we have uh, these colored polygons which are the Arc GIS server rest overlay. And right now we're running a query to the, uh, to the server, to the web service, to return all counties with a population greater than 50,000. Uh, you know we could also change this query to be all counties with a population less than 10,000 and resubmit it and you'll see the the data that's displayed changes quite a bit you're seeing the the smaller population areas uh, so let's go ahead now that you've seen the sample let's look at the code and see what's going on here uh, it's really a pretty simple sample you can see we're using you know two quick lines of code right here to get our uh, WMS uh, world map kit WMS overlay and then uh, we get to our new feature that we're really demonstrating today, which is the ArcGIS Server REST Overlay. Uh, using this class is really very simple. You simply uh, instantiate a new instance of it, determine which URI you want it to point to, uh, where the web service is, and in this case we chose the Esri State Highway USA. Uh, and, and this service has three layers. You can see it has US highways, states, and counties and they're indexed uh, by an index number. Um, so you can see after we specify the URI we basically go and we we look at parameters. We we add the first parameter which is saying we want it in PNG format. We add another parameter saying we want it transparent which will allow the world map kit to show to show through behind the the uh, ArcGIS server rest overlay. After that we specify the layers. We're saying we want to show layer ID of 2 which is the county layer and now we get to the interesting part where we're actually querying uh, and add, applying a filter to the data uh, so we specify a parameter called layer depths and we say we want layer ID of 2 and we want the population in 1999 and you want to set that to the value of your text box which in this case would be greater than 50,000 by default and that's really all there is to it Make sure always to set your is base overlay to false uh, so that you don't have uh, overlay collisions and, and your map not showing the overlay. And we have a button click method down here and all that really does is it gets the rest overlay that you defined up in the, the page load and we just modify the layer depth position or the layer depth parameter to be the value of your text box. And that's really all there is to it. You know, I'd encourage you to go out and look at this URL we have uh, we have here in the comments that's going to give you a really good idea of, of the uh, the ArcGIS server rest API uh, there's a lot of good information out there uh, you can also go out here and browse a lot of the Esri web services uh, they have them all categorized and, and you can just go through and take a look at all of them and play around with it and, and I think you'll find a lot of uh, good uses for it so thank you for taking the time to listen to this video and uh, if there's any questions feel free to post them uh, in the comments to the code community post and thank you and have a good day